This French midfielder has been linked with a lot of Premier League clubs, United and Chelsea, even Liverpool I think linked him as well. Just how good is he though? Let's find out. What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM22 series where we look at young talent foot manager and we see how they get on over the course of their careers. Both players that I pick that I'm curious about and players that you give me in the, in the Discord. The last next, next episode guys is going to be a player that's been requested but I would say the person requesting it, Discord is the best place to put them. I don't trust you. The reason why I do that is because I want to get two reasons. One, Discord more active. Second of all, I don't trust you to comments notifications so yeah um don't, don't forget guys check out the fm let's play with watford right now that is still ongoing and also check out my fifa content as you every day going forward as well this is going to be every other day on 11 a.m and so is now fifa i think fm is more uh, enjoyable to play um going forward but anyway we'll get we'll start fun on all the all the things that we're doing so also the guys second channel down below had problems with that recently Guy trying to hack it, trying to just take a video down. The found it is now, and now basically I should be fine. So that's fantastic. And also Twitch channel I add on Friday, Saturday, and Mondays when I'm able to, which is not much recently. But also my vlog channel down below as well. So today's player, guys, is Alwen Tichamani. I'm probably balls that name completely. I don't, I'm not French, uh, and also not great at speaking. Um, which is bad for a YouTuber. Um, and he's a player that makes United in real life. United really key on this guy in, in summer, according to David Ornstein, which is a guy that I would be pretty confident in believing, to be honest with you, because transfer rumours. Um, and also Liverpool want him as well, apparently, so that, that'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the summer. Um, at Monaco, which we all know is my favourite teams on FM, probably in Paradise and all that. Uh, that may come back at some point. Probably, probably, I almost came back last year, to be fair. Um, midfielder that I've already scouted for you guys because I'm just that nice. Um, and straight away you can see there's a couple of um, things that are plus for my United scouting at least. Either fake, fake which is there's more actually. Uh, than, one, than one attribute I like here. He's a fair consistent performer, he's a committed player who gives his all for the cause, love it, and can play in a couple of positions and would like again a work permit. So that's the key, this is one of the key attributes that I like. In, extremely interested in a uh, transfer and very interested in a, in a loan deal as well. So let's see what transfer fee the agent recommends we could get for him. The agent reckons is 65 to 95 million pounds. So we'll say we're going to sign him, but we're not going to actually sign him because it's a simulation. Let's just see. Oh, wow. That's his valuation. Woo! Straight away, there's a negative side there. Um, will they say, but they want 70 million pounds, and then they want. Fucking hell. This guy baby, this guy baby, baby God's gift to the. To, to, okay, that's a, that's a lot of money for him. That's a lot of money. Um. That is sane. I don't think that's correct at all. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't be. You can't get to that level. But right now, 21 years old, he's not that good. Though, I don't know. You go for it in the comment section on that, I suppose. Straight away, you can see here is a is a, is a box to box bowling midfielder. You can make him a playmaker as well. The passing is 14, technique 13. You know, vision's not terrible. You could mold him into that if you wanted to as well. Pay, I think the strength and strength are really high. High work rate, which is not a surprise based on the scouting report we got there. Speaking of scouting report, he's got one and two and a half star current ability and maybe uh, three and a half star potential. Um, I just don't think this guy's worth the money uh, that they're asking for. Uh, the interesting how he develops, though. I think this could be a scenario where he doesn't move on because of the high valuation. But we shall see. So, the first jump, guys. Let's go. Alright folks, still at Monaco and he's obviously gone to 58 to 175 million pounds on the price tag section of, the, of, of his profile and straight away you can see the physicality has gone up a mass a massively. 15 million across the board, love it. Uh, I'm going to change guys to the height of the feet and inches so I, I can work out a bit easier for you guys. Uh, tackling 16, passing 15. I think this guy's a ball midfielder. I think this guy's a ball, ball wing midfielder which is actually kind of awesome for my own United private save. I'm starting later this evening. I keep saying this, I never do. Um, but this guy, he's got the stamina, the pace, the vision. What is he positioning 14? I don't know if that's important. I don't know if that's important for Bowman midfielder. Because it could be. Um, but yeah, Bowman midfielder. But the physicality is fantastic. The fact that he's Bowman midfielder and he's got that strength and that stamina and that acceleration and pace. That's 
good for me because that means he can physically get involved in there. He's going to win. He's going to hold his own, if not dominate in the field, which I think he would as well. He's got get forward if he can, dictates tempo, looks a pass from out to score, which again leads to leads to what I was saying about it could be a. Uh, deep line playmaker as well. It all depends on, I think, who your partner in midfielder is. If, let's say, you've got, I'm just trying to think of a, uh, a, a Tony Cruz in there or a Pogba, not Pogba, because he's not good enough to be in this conversation. Um, but a playmaking kind of midfielder who can dictate the ball, like, like a Neves, then you want this guy alongside him to break things up. I think this guy in Neves' United team would be, would be perfect, by the way, in real life. So, yeah, I think you can mold this guy into a deep line playmaker role if you wanted to, but I think. A ball when we feel there's leaning more towards that. Injury record is pretty good. There's nothing that really concerning me personally. So you can get force as well on that. Now, based on the fact he, I don't think we're going to get many goals from him, really. Um, this first season here, he got nine goals, four assists, though. Oh, then 12 and 10. Show me up there, innit? And then it's 7 and 12. So, yeah, not bad numbers. Good numbers, really, for a guy who I think is leaning more towards being a box to box or a ball midfielder role. The price tag is massive, though. I think there's a lot of plus sides to this guy. You can, you can change him to be a ball midfielder, to a, to a playmaker. Physicality is good, and he can play two positions, but the price tag is massive. The price tag is massive. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, this guy's a physical god. Um, and I'm not even. I guess, and I just can't. I just wish we could get him for the decent fee. Um, maybe now, he, maybe he could after the first summer. Maybe he work on him and that kind of thing, and the in scout team and all that kind of stuff, and declare interest in him. Um, the, the, play, the injury card first. We'll go into more detail there. Bit few injuries here, which is slightly concerning. Um, this bit isn't it a bit of an issue there. That could be a one-off thing in this simulation, of course. Um, stats. Let's have a look how he did here. So we got seven and twelve. 12 and 8, 5 and 2, 6 and 4, and then 7 and 0. But we'll, we'll, we'll also got to factor in the injuries that he's got here. So that's an issue with it as well. So, what am I thinking about his development here? Um, same, same player traits. This, this screen here, the stats are showing me what I was saying earlier on. This guy can be molded into a midfield playmaker he's got the technique not far off it he's got the passing he's got the vision i think you can make him a deep nine playmaker um i think you can definitely do that um i think obviously you may, you may say he's not great but if you're molding him at an early age into that midfielding role of a playmaker then you'd focus on those stats more on that role more so i think you'd see an increase in those stats anyway wouldn't you yourself so i think that is something that you can do but i think if you want to if you don't want to train him in the ball midfielder or box to box you've got a guy here who could do that for you straight away without any training the physicality is something i think you will always get in your in your simulations his potential um i'll just put it on here guys because I, I, I didn't tell you that start of the review 164 now i know for a fact that i didn't change that so that is his maximum rating you can get so that is the he's got a rating fixed at 164. now obviously new year coming with the patch with the update there may be changes to these players of course i'll look at I'll look into that if that happens uh but this guy i think he's a fantastic midfielder that um he's gonna be a um, physical beast in midfield for you he's gonna win the ball back a lot i'm sure he's got a bit of a goal for it as well uh the downside to him is over that downside to him is he will cost you a lot of money by the looks of it uh, and he, but he can play two positions though quite easily. So we're going to do one more jump. I want to see if he can get back to double figure goals like he was doing before he got those, those injuries that crept in a few times in a row. Let's see what happens in the next two years. So he's still at Monaco, guys, and the stats are virtually the same, which is fantastic. Um, the injury record, did that get that injury record kind of settled down a bit after this, which is great to see. So I don't think he's injury prone at all. So the last couple of years, how did he get on? So we saw one there. So he got seven and zero, then he got six and seven. Then nine and nine, so sort of consistently getting double figure total for goal contributions, both goals or and or assists. So yeah, I think this guy is fantastic. Think rating for this guy seven out of ten because I think he's really really good. But the, the no six out of ten. I think the fee is massive. Um, he's at the start of the game. Obviously, every say is different, so I can't comment on the fee later on in the game because it'd be pointless doing that because every game starts differently. I do the fee on the first day of the game, so that makes it a bit easier for you to 
get an idea how he how he gets on so you guys if you have enjoyed this episode i hope you have hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily content on this channel like i said not every day these videos go out but if you really want to see more of these videos every day i'm willing to do so um but obviously i'll have to see what people think if we want them every day and that will make it a bit harder to record videos um next video guys is going to be done with a player request if you have got a player request like i said discord down below get involved in there because there's a section there just for that don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe as well. Check out second channel. Check out the uh, Twitch channel and the VOD channels down below as well. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.